Hey, what's up guys? Beer we got to hunt here and I don't actually hunt. I'm bringing another commentary and um, this is quite an old game. You'll see that I have steady aim on this class. It's because I, I used it right after I finished the secondary set I did with the dual TMPs, if you guys remember that. Yeah, so that's why I have steady aim on. And I uh, forgot to take it off. So I would usually rock search and... Uh, since this is search and destroy, I would usually rock ninja on all my classes. But, like I said, I forgot to take it off. And I'm using the ACR with uh, Bling, which is Silencer and FMJ, and this just cuts through things like butter. Like butter. And, uh, yeah, I should try this out. It's a pretty powerful little guy, and it's silent, so whatever. And stopping power, too. Okay, here we go, guys. Um, I told you what I was going to talk about today, and it's going to be Black Ops. Sorry about that. That was my phone, if you guys heard that noise. <laughs> going to be the Black Ops. So let's get right into it, shall we? Black Ops, some things you need to know. Um, let's start out with the point system. I'm pretty sure you guys all know this. You guys probably are, I'm just repeating what a lot of people said. But in case you don't, and in case you want to know a little more, then keep listening, I guess. So the point system. Call of Duty points. You go into games and you earn points. Not, and you rank up, by the way. Rank ups actually get you a thing called contracts. Actually, no, that's not true. Contracts are earned by points as well. But Call of Duty points is a currency for Call of Duty, which you can buy perks, guns, attachments, um, a couple other things too. You just buy stuff with it instead of earning it as ranking up. There is still going to be a rank up system, but I am uncertain. I probably know, but I'm just forgetting it right now. But yeah, so the rank up system is going to be pretty cool. Uh, the Call of Duty currency. Uh, again, you buy a bunch of stuff, and you could put that money on the line by playing wager matches, which you saw a trailer I posted on my channel. And you get to bet amount of money which you in these games to win and if you win then you get the people's money that they bet and if you lose you gotta be in the top three to earn money so that those should be quite fun it's betting on a video game so that body was pretty funny too insane you just jumped but oh yeah people are playing with a try twitch clutch tipsy and insane yeah so again Call of Duty currency is pretty awesome. Um, customization, you get to customize your own emblem, you get to customize your own character. That's going to be pretty cool. So, no one looks alike at all, no gun looks the same. You could put an emblem on the side of your gun, you could put your clan tag in your it etched into your gun. No gun will look the same, it'll be your gun. Um, that's what they were really going for. Black Ops soldiers actually got to pick exactly what they wanted when they went on missions, which is why customization is so big in Black Ops the video game. Kill oh yeah, you could buy kill streaks as well um, with your Call of Duty currency. So yeah, there and okay, perks. Some of the perks. You will get to choose between Marathon and Ninja. Now that is pretty cool because I felt that Marathon in Modern Warfare 2 killed the point of search and destroy. Now people will be only using uh, silent footsteps with Ninja and won't be running around to the bomb site so quickly. And Marathon is not unlimited sprint anymore. So that's pretty cool too. It's more like extreme conditioning from Call of Duty 4. Just a little tuned up I believe. And Lightweight is a first perk now and you get to pick Okay, this is for all the sniper fans out there. You have to pick between steady aim, deep impact, and sleight of hand. That's a big decision. Um, because deep impact, if you want to get those wall banks, you gotta gotta put that on. Uh, sleight of hand, if you want to aim in faster, you gotta put that on. If you want to get some elite no scopes with steady aim, <laughs> you gotta put that on too. So it's really gonna be a tough decision for me to pick. Um, I probably will go with sleight of hand because I like good fast kill streaks. Another thing about kill streaks, while I'm on that topic, um, kill streaks don't add up to your other kill streaks. So say you get uh, uh, chopper gunner at eight, it will not go towards dogs at eleven, which is pretty cool. So no more 
less boosters, I believe. Um, tactical insertion, I think they said that was out. So, yeah, no more boosters. And I think I heard a rumor that they will disable join in progress, which, again, that will eliminate boosters completely without join available. Except, of course, friends will invite other friends to the game, and there will always be boosting somewhere. <coughs> So that's, uh, that's a lot about Black Ops that I know already. Um, really cool, really looking forward to it. No stopping power or juggernaut, so there will not be any advantage to killing somebody. You will not get extra damage, and you will not get extra health, which is pretty awesome. So that was basically my... I went 10-0 in this game, and uh, that was Black Ops, the beer we gotta hunt. Peace.